Okay. Okay. So, you guys know that we are working on Luffy's Muts. I have an entire new plan of how I'm going to open it on mine and my husband's time and nobody is unfortunately going to be able to sway that. So you guys also know, and I've been open and honest with you guys about this, my testers are my trainer for service dog related things and my mom is the tester for dog related things. So with that said, we did come across one problem this week and the metal stopper in our poop bags uh, specifically on my trainers actually came out so I'm gonna look into getting the their rubber poop bag softener things softener no stoppers yes um, so there's that we're gonna look into getting that, and we are also gonna look into adding safety keychains for an add-on. So if you guys order X amount of gear in dollars, I can put a pepper spray, uh, a taser, air horn, whatever. I'm, I'm looking at a very specific vendor for safety keychain items, if that makes sense. Um, this week, the training session for Lufasa in particular, and let me, let me back up a little bit. Twice this week, he pooped on the treadmill. Now, he knows he, he's doing wrong, and he knows this. So, it's 10 minutes on the treadmill, 45 minutes outside, and then 30 to finish. So there's that. And then if he poops, give him a break, start over in the 45 minutes. So I could be going at this all day for all I know. Um, also, my trainer, she, I give her whatever power she needs to be able to suggest testing for me. She was the one who had me get the anxiety under control. So with that being said, she also thinks that I have the classical slash vascular EDS. Now, if you guys don't know, I am diagnosed with hypermobile EDS. However, some of the symptoms that I show are classical and vascular. So I've already wanted to do genetic testing. I've already been interested in that. So I'm hoping to get into a doctor who will do genetic testing for me. Um, switching yards back and forth. That way Mufasa doesn't know which one is going to go where. So. Um, a new task that we are trying to teach Mufasa is for him to be in between my legs but laying down. And I have... God. I've tried... Sorry. <laughs> I've tried everything I know to get him to lay down in between my legs but he keeps when I when I tell him to center and then lay down instead of laying down in the center he'll move out from in between my legs turn around and then lay down so we're trying to figure out a way to get him used to that I'm not sure how to explain it um, and then we're going to have him lay down in different locations with me in different spots. 
in hopes to get him used to laying down in between my legs eventually. Um, and the whole purpose of that was for me to use his body length to keep people away from my back and away from my front at the same time. Now, he knows the difference in between front and back. Um, I always got confused with cover and block, so I've always used front and back. It tells him what side to go to. It's just easier for me that way. Um, so I'm going to tell him center, down, and then give him a treat as in good boy treat. Um, another treadmill thing that we were going to try is two, two 20 minutes and one five. I don't know why that says 15. That's Um, and then for him to be able to come inside, he has to do orbits around me. Um, this is low, this next couple of them are low priority. Um, trying alert and response. We are trying to get him back to doing that, which he's been pretty good at he's still not where I want him. So, we're still working on that one. Um, as of recently, he has been breaking some rules. Um, one thing, one rule that we have in particular is you're not allowed on the furniture unless you ask. Ask. Now, the way my dogs ask, I don't know why. I don't know why I keep yawning, so I'm very sorry. I'm not tired. I don't know. Anyway. Um, but the way our dogs... I don't know why I said dogs. Well, the way they ask is they look at what they want. For example, the couch. And then they look at either me or my husband. And yes, they have been taught to do this. Now, they also know that I can tell them yes or no. And if I say no, I mean no. You are not to lay on the couch. Um, yeah. So, if he ends up jumping up onto the sofa without asking, he gets 10 minutes on the treadmill. Now, you guys are probably like, well, why is he always on the treadmill? The treadmill is one thing that we found that he didn't like. And it works really well for him. So... I don't have to use treats, I don't have to use toys, I can use a treadmill and my voice. So that has been a very helpful find for both me and my husband. Um, also, good God. Also, my husband's legs are very, very sensitive. With that being said, we are trying to teach Xena to alert to nail picking, leg bouncing, and face picking. Similar to that. Um, but that is this week's training sessions. I love you. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I'm going to sign this video off with saying you guys know that I have wanted to do a quote-unquote rescue for a very long time and I was finally able to do said rescue yesterday July no July 23rd so that's that's that. I'm actually very excited about what I was able to do. I was actually able to help somebody get a life-saving medication. Um, you guys know we ran into a situation a couple years ago in Denver 
where we had a young girl that we knew who had a prescription. We've seen the prescription and everything. So we knew it was there, but she couldn't afford to get the medication and she had been stung by a bee. Me being me, I almost always have at least one or two extra laying around. And by that time, my husband was already getting the EpiPen out, flinging the blue top of it backwards, grabbing it and getting her in a thigh. By that time, I was on the phone with 911. So we did have a rather scary situation happened, but I'm glad I was able to help this person and to this to this person, I hope you like the EpiPen bag that you chose. Um, let me know if you guys need any help and I'll see what I got what I can do to help you guys. I love you guys and I hope you guys are having a good day. Bye guys.